Hey Sparky, today is October 11th, 2017, and what's going on with you? What's going on with you, huh? You're sitting on your heat rock, and there's no heat. But see, I'm not going to turn the heat on yet for you, because you know why? Because it's early, and I don't want to fire you up this morning, and it's 74 in the room because we haven't needed any heat because it's 65 out this morning so I don't dare turn you any heat on yet you'll get all fired up because it's raining out see so I don't dare turn on that heat so that's just how that goes acted like a deadbeat today. What's wrong? What's wrong, Sparky? I was going to work on your terrarium today, but you were in it, and you never moved. You haven't moved from that spot all day, so I couldn't get started on it, and I know it needs to be cleaned up and tidied up. need to be adding fresh eco earth. I need to prepare for the winter months, Sparky. I need to get these rocks cleaned. I need to clean the plexiglass. Well, hopefully you'll be in a better mood tomorrow, and hopefully you'll want out so I can work on your terrarium, Sparky, and give you some fresh, fresh substrate to enjoy. And guess what I found? I found coconut bark. I didn't even know we had any coconut bark left, so I'm going to give you some of that to enjoy. And I found some sphagnum moss. What do you think about that? Huh? I just gave you fresh water. You want a drink? You want to go get a drink of fresh water? Well, come on. Go get a drink. You want to go get a drink of fresh water? Okay? Well, come on. Go get a drink. Come on, Sparky. You want a drink? I know that was a dirty crick, trick, Sparky, sneaking apple in there that looked like a um, wax worm. I know that was a dirty trick. And I just want to ask you, 
Did you see all of those snails in your pen yesterday on top of the dirt? They were all over the place. Did you see them? Did you eat any, Sparky? Well, I, I figure snails is kind of a touch and go thing. You're probably better off not eating them because they say first generation of snails could have flukes, which could be a problem for turtles. But how would you know first generation and second generation, Sparky? That's something that's always baffled me. Turtles in the wild, how on earth are they going to know first generation and second generation snails? Supposedly, second generation snails are safe to eat. But first generation can carry flukes. So, I don't know. If you figure that one out, let me know, okay? I have my winter coat on to go outside. It was supposed to go down to 46 this morning. And this is still morning. And it appears, if my temperature gauge is right, it's 55 outside right now. So it's quite nippy out there, Sparky. So are you enjoying the heat that you're under right now, your emitters? And this is cantaloupe fresh from our garden, Sparky. Cantaloupe from a volunteer cantaloupe plant and turtles are supposed to like it and I just put it up here for him and he did stick his foot in it so that's something what's up this morning huh did you know that it's 38 degrees out this morning did you know that it is really really cold Did you know that you wouldn't be very comfortable outside right now if you were outside? You'd be trying to find a place to dig down and stay warm. I love you, Sparky.
Good job, Sporky. My hands will be messy. Good job. Good job. Very good boy.